A wealthy white West Virginia couple have been accused of forcing their adopted black children to work as slaves and live inside a locked barn. Donald Ray Lance, 63, and Jean K. Whitefeather, 62 of Charleston, West Virginia, plead not guilty on Tuesday to multiple new charges after their kids were found locked in a dilapidated shed after allegedly laboring on the surrounding farmland. The judge presiding over the case said the couple targeted their five kids, age 16, 14, 11, 9, and 6, because of their race and they were used basically as slaves, according to the original arrest report in October. The 16- and 14-year-old children were locked in the squalid 20x14 shed with no lights, food or running water, with a camera planted in the top left corner of the room. The children, who smelled a body odor, were found wearing dirty clothes with sores on their feet after a wellness check was performed on the outhouse on Cheyenne Lane, which had no way of being opened from the inside. The shed sat on the grounds of the couple's five-acre, three-bedroom $295,000 Sissonville property. They also owned an 80-acre $725,000 home in Tonaskett, Washington, which they sold after their arrest in October. Whitefeather stated at the barn where the girl, 16, and boy, 14, were found was a teenage clubhouse, and they were not held against their will. The mother told deputies the children, who were all homeschooled, actually liked the shed they were locked in. However, the teenage girl told deputies they had been locked in the building for approximately 12 hours and were last given food at 6 a.m. The building only had a small RV porta potty and no running water, according to images from inside and descriptions from the initial police report. The children were also forced to sleep on the hard concrete floor, they said. The criminal complaint stated, if there was a medical emergency or fire, the children would be unable to exit the locked room to safety, court documents. Said neighbors reported that the children were forced into farm labor and were not allowed inside the main house. Filings also state that the teenage boy found inside the outhouse smelled a body odor and had open sores on his bare feet.